my job skills demonstration today, I will be showing you how to perform infant cardiopulmonary resuscitation, also known as CPR. CPR is a combination of rescue breathing, which provides oxygen to the infant's lungs, and chest compression, which keeps the infant's blood circulating. It is a life-saving procedure that is used in cases when the infant's heartbeat or breathing has stopped, as in cases of drowning, suffocation, choking, or other injuries. Since these events are never premeditated, it can cause the unknowing adult to go into a state of panic. Knowing how to perform this procedure correctly can minimize the feeling of helplessness that occurs in the situation. The supplies that will be using are a one-way belt attached to an infant CPR mask, and an infant CPR mannequin. Before we begin, there are safety precautions that need to be kept in mind. First of all, when delivering ventilation, make sure your breaths are not too long or short, that they're evenly spaced and effective. Secondly, when delivering chest compression, make sure you are not too fast or slow, you are not too forceful, and you have proper answers making sure your fingers are not directly over the xiphoid process, which is a bony bump at the bottom of your birth cage. Pressure may cause it to break and puncture the lung. And lastly, it is advisable to have some sort of face mask or face shield to inhibit the spread of infection. Now to begin. When you come upon an unconscious victim, you need to first establish responsiveness. You may do this by gently stimulating the baby, flicking the foot, or making some sort of noise. Baby, baby, are you okay? If infant does not respond, yell for help and send someone else to call 911. Make sure to not leave baby by themselves. And then making sure that the infant on a flat surface, we will open the airway using the head, tilt, chin, lift method. Place one hand on the infant's forehead, one hand under the chin, and then lift. We will now assess for breathing. Do this by placing your cheek close to the infant's mouth. We're listening for the breath in our ear, feeling for the breath in our cheek, and watching for the chest to rise and fall, which will be an indication that the infant is breathing. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. At this point, if infant is not breathing, we will deliver two ventilations. To do this, place the mask covering the nose and the mouth, making sure you have an airtight seal and that the airway is open, you will deliver first ventilation. Watching for the chest to rise and fall, which will tell you that your ventilation will success. If chest does not rise, reposition and attempt again. After chest rises and then falls, deliver second ventilation. After two successful ventilations, we will now assess for a pulse. To do this, place two fingers in the upper inner aspect of the infant's arm. This is known as the brachial site. We will feel for a pulse. At this point, if no pulse is found, deliver 30 chest compressions. To do this, place two fingers, one finger's width below the nipple line, and then making sure the airway is open. Depress the breast from one half to one third the depth of the infant's chest, allowing the chest to rise back up after each compression. I will now demonstrate a few cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Followed by two ventilations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and breathing. At this point, if 
If there's no improvement noticed and you are by yourself, you are now allowed to leave to call 911, making sure to return and continue CPR until help arrives or until infant recovers, at which point you will clear it. Now to recap. When you first come upon an unconscious victim, first establish responsiveness. If no response, yell for help, send someone else to call 911. Do not leave the baby by yourself. Then making sure infants on a flat surface, open airway using head tilt chin lift method, and look, listen, and feel for breathing for 10 seconds. If infant is not breathing, deliver two ventilations. Then assess for a pulse. If no pulse is found, Deliver cycle of 30 compressions and two ventilations for one full minute, and then reassess. If no improvement is noted and you are by yourself, you may leave to call 911, making sure to return and continue this procedure until help arrives or until infant recovers, at which point you will prepare it. In conclusion, accidents happen when you least expect them to. Knowing how to respond and assist in the aftermath of an incident is extremely helpful and reassuring. In case of the infant, if CPR is performed within one minute of infant going unconscious, it can increase the rate of survival by 64%. Proper execution of this procedure can make the difference between life and death for your infant. This concludes my job for demonstration.